This is how I became a first-generation college grad on my own terms. Was going to college something you always wanted? No one in my family had been to college before me. My parents actually didn't graduate high school. So this was really something that I had to navigate on my own since I grew up in poverty. There weren't many people who looked like me that I knew of that, you know, were doing positive things. I had to do something different than what I had seen. I had to do something different in order to achieve a different life. How did you feel once you finally got accepted to college? So I finally got into my dream school and I was actually feeling great about myself. I was just like, oh my gosh, like I'm one of these people now. <laughs> it was so overwhelming trying to balance work and school and still trying to make friends. And then something happened that could have just derailed all that work that I had put in. Then what happened? I'm just hanging out with this guy. Um, you know, we really are just hanging out. It was, it was just a casual relationship. And, you know, we start to get intimate and we do end up having sex. And then I just realized at one point that the condom came off. At that time, I wasn't on any other birth control. My method of birth control was condoms. I really just started to panic, realizing that this night could possibly change the course of my life. He was really calm about it. But of course, that was because, you know, I would be the one who ended up pregnant. I wouldn't have the time or the means to go after all those dreams that I'd always had. I was not ready for a child at all, at all. After he had left, I was sort of just sitting there panicking alone. I just remember that I had seen a commercial for Plan B emergency contraception and pretty much that you could just go and grab it at the store. I was just like, this is the perfect option for me right now. I did end up purchasing it the very next morning. I didn't need a prescription and it was right in the aisle. I didn't experience any side effects. I know that some people can, but I didn't have any side effects whatsoever. So I was mainly just waiting for my period. Um, and once it did finally come, it was just like, okay, <laughs> you know, crisis averted, like, I'm not pregnant. Since condoms were my preferred method of birth control, there always was this like reliance on the man putting it on, making sure it's on right. And then once it failed, it kind of just seemed like, oh my gosh, like there's, really nothing that I can do. But then I was like, oh, well, I do have this option that I can go out and get myself. It really gave me like this sense of, you know, I do have a backup and I can take care of it myself. After graduating, I decided to make the big leap to move out of Ohio, which was a huge deal for me and my family. Um, so I moved to New York and I decided to pursue my dreams. My advice to other women is really just don't panic. There is a backup plan and it's accessible and easy to get and easy to take.